All right, folks, welcome back to CV Rebuilds. Uh, we're back on working on the cruise. Uh, before we can put the body panels back on, we're going to need the headlights to go back in for uh, body panel fitment to be sure that we've got all of our gaps set and you know the hood alignment and the fender alignment and everything looks good on this uh, headlight and also the fascia when we put the bottom uh, plastic fascia on so that that looks good. But we can't bolt these headlights back in because we're missing some plastic brackets. So we've got a couple pieces off of this headlight and uh, a couple off of the, the passenger side where it took its most impact. But uh, you can see here this piece of plastic does fit right back into this area. Of course we have the brakes to line it up with and it looks good, except it's not attached. So what we're going to try to do uh, a repair to our headlights to try to save a little bit of uh, money on the project. I think what we're going to use are staples. So just like the staples you would use in uh, the staple gun like this, uh, you know, to hang up fabric or something like that, do some basic upholstery. Uh, we're going to take these staples, break them apart, and we'll use those to strengthen the crack that has uh, been created. So we're going to take the highest quality uh, soldering iron I could find. It's really just the one I care the least about. And we'll take it, we're going to uh, kind of tack this together like you would with welding uh, metal. We're going to tack the plastic together. Then we're going to heat up these staples and we're going to press them into the, into the plastic and get them to bond. Uh, you know, melt the plastic together and then these themselves will add some structure um, and they have a good way to transfer the heat just to where we want it. So that's going to be our approach. We've got two brackets to fix here on the pass or the driver's side headlight. Um, it does have a scuff in it, but I don't really think that's going to hurt the light output too much right now. And we definitely need it for mock-up. We can always get different headlights or aftermarket headlights later on, uh, but I don't want to really spend the money on the fit-up if we don't need it. Um, and we might find out these headlights work fine for a while, and then we can upgrade later. So we're going to go uh, and try to get this repaired. I don't know uh, how well this will work, but we'll give it a shot. So hang tight as we get going here and see how it goes. So one thing I'm really trying to concentrate on doing is uh, mixing the two materials. Uh, just like you do in welding, you don't want uh, to just put the weld right in the middle of the crack because it will end up being weak. So you got to mix it together. Now these are both the same base materials because um, they're were the same piece until they broke. But I'm trying to make sure I go through and I get a good, you know, get it nice and hot, melt it together, get it to flow together on both sides of of the repair so that we have good you know a good bite for the staples and for the plastic that's going to be left i think the last step on something like this you can see it's much stronger i'm not seeing the um, crack gap any as i'm going to come in here with the 
uh, JBL plastic bonder. Uh, this one says it's formulated for uh, you know plastics, automotive plastics, and everything, and it's black. So we've got the black color here, and I'll probably mix that up and drop it in here um, and let it bond to these uh, ribs and the staples in here before I come back and clip it off. Uh, try to use whatever we can to keep this together, uh, just make it as strong as possible. Then that would conclude this headlight. So uh, I'm going to actually get the other headlight and get it kind of repaired so that when I go to mix the epoxy, I only have to mix it once and apply it to both of them. So let me get the other headlight and I'll show you guys kind of how that one's gonna be more difficult or maybe, maybe we won't be able to repair it at all. All right, so here's the other headlight. Um, you can see kind of how that tab goes in. So I put the tab on the other one incorrectly, but you can see here we've got a nice big gap pretty much all the way around this thing. Um, so ideally, you know, we need to get it into the correct position and then we can start our repair. So unfortunately, I think the way to do this is to actually break it the rest of the way out maybe clean up some of the jaggedness and then try to put it back in. All right, so my test went well. The only problem is that the low beam in the passenger side headlight is burnt out. Uh, you know, common issue that if you use your headlights, they might burn out. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start bonding these with the epoxy. So I'll try to get the uh, epoxy on both of them on the top here, let it set, set up. And then I'm going to probably flip it over and do the inside of these two brackets and uh, at that point, I might be out of epoxy. I might have to get another tube uh, just because that uh, big crack on the bottom of this headlight is going to take a lot of a lot of glue to go all the way around all of this crack in all of the different directions just to be sure that we don't have any condensation issues. So what I'm going to do now is uh, take the air gun, blow off some of this dust, and then get it ready for uh, some epoxy. Actually, I decided I'd change my mind a little bit. I'm a little hesitant to do this, uh, but use some acetone to clean up the area just to make sure it's clean. Sometimes the acetone will eat some plastics, but uh, it doesn't seem to be bothering this one any, so uh, not that I could tell. It, it may still be messing with it, but uh, I, I can't tell. So, anyways, give it a little brush down here, get it looking clean looks like it's cleaning up pretty good getting the dust off and trying to make sure we have a good place to bite for the epoxy
All right, folks, it's the next day here. I got uh, a whole up with other things going on, uh, but I just wanted to kind of go over what this looks like. So after this epoxy sets up, it has this real gritty look instead of like a smooth, like a uh, normal JB Weld. And this stuff is pretty, pretty stout. I'm not really worried at all about um, the strength. I was a little worried on this one because uh, when it was setting up, it was still really loose. But now, as I move it, I'm sure you won't be able to catch it on video, but the only thing that's moving is just this end where I'm pushing. Nothing back here to joint is moving. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over and apply the epoxy on the inside here uh, of this joint as well, just to give it a little more strength. So that's what we're going to work on now and get some uh, glue there, and then we'll move on to um, working on getting the main break on this light right here repaired. All right, so I think that's going to kind of end this episode. Uh, all I got to do is let it uh, cure. Uh, I'll let it cure overnight, and then it'll be ready to install in the vehicle. But, uh, you know, it's little projects like this that have to be done. They really help with your fit-up when you're trying to redo a whole car. What you can see here, you know, instead of having to buy this whole housing, uh, again, it's got a couple of scuffs right here. And maybe I'll be able to polish that out later, but... I don't need that for panel fitment and right away this vehicle may not be fully finished but I do need to get it to inspection it needs to have headlights to have a pass on an inspection so you know we're going to be able to do that we've got this repaired you know tab here where the headlight mounts it's really strong again down here this is just to hold the the edge of the fender in so I did not reinforce that any I don't think it's going to be a problem uh, past what, what we did the other day with the welding. And, uh, you know, we're able to save quite a bit of money on this rebuild. And, uh, you know, you guys will get my opinion later on if this was a good idea or not. If I, uh, if I come back, I'll tell you if it leaked or not. But I think for right now, we're going to be in good shape. And we uh, were able to save quite a bit of money by repairing these headlights versus uh, purchasing new ones or even... Um, takeoffs of another vehicle that was wrecked so thanks for watching this episode of cb rebuild hope you uh learned something and enjoyed the video i'll see you guys soon in the next one